the Aprilia RS457, an Italian mark with 54 world titles to its name and renowned for making racing thoroughbreds for the road like the glorious RSV4 factory. And it's the same story for the RS457 as well, as it's an Aprilia through and through. Gets the same signature styling like its racy siblings. Flaunts the same 11 MP Morelli ECU like the RSV4. Right by wire throttle that Aprilia introduced to the world of motorcycles. Which means you get a whole suite of electronic aids like riding modes, switchable ABS, traction control and this lovely 5-inch TFT dash. The frame, just like on a race bike, is aluminium and the paddle twin motor is a stress load-bearing member which means the swing arm and the pegs are attached straight to the engine. And the motor's got the Italian treatment as well. Comes with the might of 47.6 horses and 43.5 Nm of torque, making it the most powerful engine in class. And the 270 degree crank guarantees the character and sound of a race bike, designed to do this. Where on earth? Ah, I get it. Road review, funny. <laughs> Real funny, but yeah, if you really want, your RS457 can also transform into an urban hustler. <laughs> Because with all that torque, this has amazing tractability and city life can be dealt with in the third gear. The clutch is really light, you have really approachable seat height at 800 millimeters. The ergonomics too, I think they've struck a really good compromise between sporty and comfort. The switches are backlit which means you know what you're pressing in the dark. And the motorcycle too is really light, it's really agile, so you can really slice and dice through traffic. The only place where I feel it can improve is the heat management. Now the crazy part is, it doesn't really heat up too much and actually also cools down pretty quickly. The problem is where that heat is directed, straight onto your thighs, making the cockpit a really steamy affair unless you get moving. And I think that's a great idea. We should get going and take the RS-457 where it truly belongs. Oh man, no, this is not what I had in mind. Okay, fine. If you do want to do a little bit of sports touring on the RS-457, you can because unlike most of the Aprilias, it is actually quite spacious. There's a decent amount of room for you to move around, even for my 511 frame. And even in terms of suspension, yeah, the rear is a little on the stiffer side as you would expect on a sport bike. But once you play around with the preload, you can make it decently supple. I would like to try the taller windscreen which Aprilia offers as an accessory because I think this one, especially when you're sitting upright, causes a decent amount of buffeting. But the main showstopper here is undoubtedly again the engine because it is so smooth, so refined. It only gets buzzy very close to his rev ceiling and you have dollops and dollops of torque available irrespective of what gear you're riding. Which means you can actually easily cruise all day long at 140 kilometers an hour. But that also means that with the 13 litre tank, you're gonna stop a lot for fuel stops. And that again, your butt won't really mind because the seat, as beautiful as it looks, wasn't really designed for the longer hauls. And here's the thing, that's all right, because you won't give a rat's ass about any of these things when you finally ride the RS-457 the way it's meant to be ridden. Finally, this is the point I've been trying to make for the entire freaking video. What an engine. You have such a wide torque band and you have power on tap irrespective of what gear or RPM you are at. Strong enough to pull a power wheelie in the third gear. 
or hit 191 kilometers an hour on the right stretch of road. And it's not just about the speed, right? It's also the sound it makes, the character, especially when it's revving at full chat and the way it feels. This is, I think, undoubtedly, as far as smaller capacity motorcycles go, the closest that comes to give you the feel of a proper race bike. And in terms of handling, this reminds me so much of the R15. And that's freaking high praise for a motorcycle, which is almost 500cc. It is so compact, so agile, so quick on its feet. And at the same time, you have really good feel from the front, which gives you the confidence to attack corners like you own them. It feels like you're playing a video game. It's that ridiculously easy to ride. Which is also the reason why I'm absolutely baffled that Aprilia decided to go ahead with organic pads on the RS457, which are clearly not cut out for the task of the performance that this is capable of unleashing. Luckily, that's an easy fix by just swapping the organic pads with sintered words and you are set. So then, the only question that's remaining is the reliability and the after-sales service of the RS457 because that is an unknown. And I would love to get this bike as a long-termer so that you know we can give you a more clear idea about how well Aprilia are doing on that front. But I'm keeping my fingers crossed that Aprilia nailed that as well because this is undoubtedly one of the best motorcycles that I have ridden, which has been manufactured in India and also made that much sweeter with that 4.1 lakh price tag.